you. Welcome to another week at Chateau de Montmagne. Now, this week, it's all about the floor. Now, Chateau de Montmagne is nearly 700 years old. It was built in 1360 by the Marcoux family. So there's lots of areas within this building that are very, very ancient. One of them being the tonic floors. Now, we don't know if this floor is original or how old it is. Um, it's certainly pretty old and there are cracks in it, there, the floor is so undulating, it's literally up and down, every which way you look at. But I want to keep that look, I want to keep this floor. Now we've had a couple of builders in here over the last six months that have either attended the tea room or just attended an event and come and had a look around on their open days. And lots of them, when I've said I want to keep this floor, have said, good luck with that. They wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Um, lots of them have said they would just come in, rip it up, put some joists in, a nice flat floor um, to be able to work on. I don't want to do that. The main part of the renovation that me and Ted are doing is trying to keep as many of the original features as we can. Now, we have very little budget, so, um, so it obviously helps keeping the original features but it also helps keep the history of this building alive. Now, all these undulations in this floor and all the cracks in it, it tells a story. It tells us all the story of 700 years of foot traffic over the floor and in and out of this place. So if only it could talk, wouldn't that be wonderful? But it can't, so we have to only imagine and try to keep it as best we can. Now, I've never done a floor like this before. Um, I know nothing about Tomek tiles. I've looked at loads of YouTube clips and tried to get pieces from different, different people. I can't seem to find anybody that has a floor this old. So, um, so I'm hoping what I'm gonna do is gonna work. Now, what I'm doing first off is cleaning all the cracks out between the Tomets, seeing if any of them are too bad to be able to keep. Now, we have a lot that we've taken out where we put the bathroom in, we took all the Tomek tiles off of the floor there. So we've got quite a lot to be, to be able to replace. But there's a lot of the cracked tiles that if they're embedded really well, I want to keep. I only want to lift them up if they're, if they're a health hazard, um, health and safety hazard. So the idea at the moment is I'm digging out all of the cracks between the floor. That is my first stage. So I have 45 square metres to cover. I'd better crack on. Now, these tiles are literally laid on earth, but they've been down for so many years that they are literally not moving. So I don't have any worries. It's only the ones that I feel have got movement in them that I will lift up and embed with some tile adhesive. And they've been laid so closely together, so there's not much actually to lift out. Okay, so I've got my section here that I've finished digging out. The next, sec next step is to hoover it out. Now I'm working in sections on this floor because it is such a vast area. So I'm just kind of working my way. I'm doing this while I'm waiting for paint to dry in the bathroom. And um, yeah, it's a job that you can just keep coming backwards and forwards to. 
So the next stage now is to hoover out all the gaps and then I can start grouting it. Let's get the good old Henry out. This is my grout mix. Now you may think this is very wet for a grout mix and um, you'd be right. The reason for that is because it's terracotta tolls that I'm grouting. They are so porous that as soon as I'm putting the grout in it sucks the moisture out of it so it's going hard really quickly. So I've done a bit more of a wetter mix on the second lot. Um, I think that will be better. this section that I wanted to do tonight. One thing you have to remember is how time consuming this is and to always make allowance for washing it back and cleaning all your tools afterwards because it's now seven o'clock. Um, I've still got to cook dinner yet but I've got to wash this back and clean all my tools so I think we might be eating quite late tonight because I need to get this washed back. It will take, you will need to wash it back three, four times before you actually get a clean finish. But um, the idea is just keep going over it. Perseverance. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Don't lick my face. Move. <clears throat> Go on, get off. Get off my toes. Get off my toes. I'll be down here for a while. Does it look good? Do you like it? Yeah. For those of you that are new to our channel, um, myself and Ted moved here two years ago. And uh, at that stage, it was an abandoned, unloved historical monument. It's now turning around. Um, you can go back and watch us from day one when we first picked up the keys and was living in a tent for the first seven months and uh, see the difference now. There's still so much work to do, but the adventure's been a lot of fun. So go back and join us on week one. But uh, for now, continue watching. Okay, today I've started 
on work on this area of the floor. And um, this is quite a bad area where there was lots of loose tiles and lots of really broken tiles. So I've done a lot of patchworking. And as I've been digging out between the stones, feeling whether there's any loose ones and taking them up. Now this area is, is a large area. So what we've done is taken all the tiles up I've broken up all the mud that was underneath it. Um, now you don't want any stones in there, but um, keep the mud, break down any lumpy bits with a mallet hammer. And then find your stones that you want to put back in. Um, where we've taken a lot of cracked ones out, I've had to find from other areas some stones. Water. Now what you've got to remember is all this clay and mud that's in here at the moment, this is all what the original tiles were embedded on. So if it was good enough when they lay these tiles, it's good enough now. So you just mix in your water. Mix up your mud. Now because this is a walkway through, um, this is the entrance to the room. It's going to have a lot of footfall, we hope anyway. Um, so we need to make sure that these stones are extremely well embedded in Consistency, start putting your toes back in. Which one went first? That one. Now make sure you've got enough in there that's going to make it as level as you want it. Now, obviously, you know, this floor is all ups and downs, so I don't need to be too concerned about the level because it is all over the place. But I obviously don't want any trip hazards, so. Uh, and then just give it a little knock in. And uh, yeah, nice, nice. Now, I'm not using a spirit lever or anything, as I said. This is all by eye because the floor has so many levels as it is anyway. I'm not being too panicky about it.
Okay, so we're going to do day six of doing the floor. <laughs> it's been a long, long job. Um, but we're getting there. I've, I've just got, tonight I should finish this area, and then I've got the fireplace and one small patch area that I've got to do over there. So I should be finished by tomorrow. I did predict it would take a week. Um, I don't think, well, no, I'm not going to have it sealed by the seven days because obviously I need to give it quite a few scrubs, um, final coats of scrubbing tomorrow as well. And um, so I'll probably seal it on Saturday. But yeah, I have to say, I am just aching all over. Because I'm sitting like this all the time, my hips are hurting, my legs are hurting. Um, my back's not too bad actually, but my hands digging out all the crevices. Oh God, my hands just um, are really, really hurting. Really hurting. But um, it's nearly there. We're nearly done. It'll be great to see the final, final thing. Not long now. Bess, can you get any closer to mummy? What are you doing, Bess? Are you, are you supervising? Are you supervising mummy? Yeah. Let's just have a bit of help in it, Bess. What are you doing? What are you doing, little dog? Are you bored? Because your brother's not playing. Yeah? Where's your brother? Where's Hans? Where's Hans? Oh, you clever girl. Okay, so this is the section of floor you saw me working on, and um, I've done the whole floor now. The whole floor has been grouted, it's been dug out, it's been grouted, and I'm in the process of cleaning. But it does take a lot of cleaning. Now, so far, I've worked on this floor for 66 hours. Um, I'm, I'm so glad it's over. I tell you, my body feels every minute of those 66 hours. There's still a couple of days to go um, because I will need to clean and clean and clean and clean and clean this floor until all of the film's up. Um, I do use hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid um, diluted to, to, for the last clean on the floor. Um, it's come up amazing. Now, you may look at it and, and think, you know, it still looks really old. Well, that was the whole point of it. Um, I didn't want a floor that looked brand new, otherwise we would have torn it all up. But there's a really good point to this, is that we've done two things here. If we'd have laid a new floor in here, we would have spent a minimum 1,200 to 1,500, even on the cheapest flooring. But it would have taken us a lot more than 68, 66 hours that I've spent so far. Um, because we would have had to have taken all these holes up, dug all of the floor out, um, got rid of all the soil that's under this floor. We would then have to have put new joists in um, to level the floor, and we would have then had to pay, obviously, for them. We would have then had to pay out, paid out for a, a level area, so OSB, something like that, chipboard, whatever, to put down as a base, then their top layer. Oh, and insulation. You know, 1,200, 1,500 euros minimum, even if we got the cheapest of cheapest floors. So it saved us that money. But best of all, we have saved an ancient floor. Um, and yes, it looks old, but it's supposed to look old. I want people to come in here and know that this is the original floor. You know, this has been down for hundreds of years. Um, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm really pleased with myself. I'm really chuffed that I got through this. I won't, I'll be honest with you, it's been hard work. And the last two days, yeah, I'm, I'm really hurting and I'm really tired. And to be honest with you, I'm really fed up with it. <laughs> but also glad I got there. 
But yeah, a couple more days. Um, this isn't the final layer. The final layer, once it's all cleaned up, will be the waterproofing uh, membrane that goes over the top. And you just paint it on a couple of coats and it completely waterproofs it. So it's really good for when you're cleaning the floor. Um, yeah. Yeah. A hard 66 hours, I can tell you that. If anybody else goes and tries this, please let me know how you get on, because I have found it tough, really tough, but, um, but very rewarding. Anyway, take care of one. Hope that you get on really well with your floor if you decide to do one, or just hope you've enjoyed um, seeing me in a lot of pain. <laughs> so the floor is complete. It ended up taking 82 hours. We're now Sunday morning and I've just finished the final waterproof coat on it. Um, it took a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning. I'm really, really tough with it, but let's see, let's see what Ted thinks. Let's give him a shout. Baby! Yeah? The floor's all finished. You want to come and have a look? Well, it's a bit uneven, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to level it. Do you want to slap? <laughs> What do you think? Oh, I think he looks amazing. It's, um, yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. And, um, but considering what it was before, I think you've done an incredible job. Um, it is, you know, it's all over the place. It's all different tiles. I'd love to know the era of some of these tiles. You know, whether it is, whether they are ancient or whether they are, you know, well, I, I, I did a bit of research and the first Tomek tiles were started to be used around in the 18th century, early 18th century. Right. So, so that would be 1700s, would it? 1700s. So let's, yeah, so we're thinking maybe this floor was put in around about, well, some of it might have been put in around about that time. A lot of it is, you know, patchwork and... to do things. I like the little, you know, sort of the patches of straight tiles like this one and this one. There's one over there, which is four together. And where they try to patch it. You know, I think a lot of people, the trouble is, is that a lot of people are gonna look at this floor and say, you know, they're not gonna get it. Yeah, that, that's my that's concern. The, that is the concern, is that they're not gonna understand what we try and, or what we have hopefully achieved by doing this the way. You know, we we don't have, as I've said many times, the wherewithal, the money, the resources to restore this property to what it was before. So we are renovating it. But there are certain elements in this building, stone walls being one of them, that needs to be kept and preserved and dealt with in a way that they are now usable. This floor is now usable. What I really hope is that people get it. Oh, I do. People yeah. understand what we're trying to do. Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of our subscribers and the people who watch us on a regular basis, I think they get it. I think they understand. What I'm hoping is that guests understand it. Yeah. And, you know, I know it's us, I know it's for us to explain, but... That explanation gets done and then we leave and people go, you know, yeah. oh my God, look at the floor. And I you know, think we need to put something in the, um, so each room will have a guest book and yeah. I think we need to put different things in that guest book for each room as to, well, you know, aspects and features within that room that need to be explained so I they can am, read I about it. I absolutely understand that. You, that's, that's a good job. But I think what we need to do as well is we need to put some of the early pictures in that book yeah to say, definitely before and afters this is what it was yeah and this is what it is now uh, you know i think you are com should be absolutely commended you have spent eight days 80 plus hours on this floor and it's incredible i, I you know i think it is absolutely wonderful so that was a week on the floor. Amazing, amazing, a week on the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
you know, like, don't take this the wrong way, but a week on our knees, you know, like, that's the thing. But it's so, been brilliant. we'll see you all next week. Next week, you will get to see what Ted's been up to this week while I've been on the floor. Um, so that'll be another video next week. We'll yeah. see you all then. Take care, everyone. Take care. Loved you all. See you Bye. later. Stay safe and all that. Take care. All right. Oh, here's the doggy. Here's the doggy. Here's the doggy do. He's got We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye. Someone to share my dreams, someone to follow me.